All right, that is the new mini Jeep oil cooler. We're gonna get this installed, mount it up right down here. All we gotta do is take apart some bolts, take these three bolts out to remove this, replace the gasket, put this new one in that has the extra bolts for the oil cooler lines. It'll go back on here like so and then those lines will run right back here for the oil cooler to the oil cooler right there all right first step is to pull the spark plug wire off Just get that out of the way and then we're going to take this bolt and this bolt and then that middle bolt that holds the cover on over here these bolts are 5 16 One bolt, two bolts, third bolt right here in the middle that holds that covers on a ten millimeter. You can just use the, the same gasket that was on here. Slide it on like so. And we're just going to reinstall that the same way we took it off. Put that on. Put those 5 16 bolts in first. It's hard to do in video. Slide that 10 meter bolt in, hold that cover. Next step is we're going to mount the oil cooler and connect the two lines. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and put uh, the oil cooler lines onto the oil cooler. They come with 12 millimeter bolts uh, with washers and rubber seals.
one on top and one on bottom. I'm just going to hand tighten them because I'm going to have to be moving the lines around to connect it to the side of the engine. So that's hand tight. It's hand tight. I'm just going to take lower it down here for now and just let it hang. And we can tighten these to these two bolt holes using the same 12 millimeter bolts with a washer on each side as well. There is no old one. This is a brand new thing. It doesn't come on the mini Jeep. Oh. Okay, so I connected one line here, one line here, here and here. And I'm going to tighten those up with the 12 millimeter. Here's my oil cooler hanging right there. I'll tighten those up with the 12 millimeter and then I'll mount it so that it gets air from right here. Alright, so the next thing I'm doing is uh, just going to mock up where I'm going to put a bolt and a nut through because this will be on the top of this holding it up. It'll actually be this way on the other side. So it'll be like that on the other side. Right. Then you're just going to mount the bracket on, like I said, backwards to where I drilled it in. They come with these two small bolts. bolts in. That's how it'll look when it's done. It's all mounted in there. Nice and good. The lines are all out of the way. And we're finished mounting the oil cooler.